of What Up Guys, this is Chivo Guides, back here again with another achievement guide. Today we're going to be focusing on the 3000 Gamer Score update for Gabriel's Worlds The Adventure. This game is published by My Night Sun Games and it's developed by Rafael Valim Fernandez. Now, this publisher slash dev has had a bit of a different strategy compared to other achievement updaters. Rather than releasing 1000 gamer score updates every six months, they've decided to release 500 gamer score updates every quarter. So you're basically getting four updates a year for their game, each worth 500G. Now, if you're not caught up quite yet, I'll have my previous video guides for the game, including the full game walkthrough down in the description below. However, if you're all cut up and you have 2,500G out of 3,000, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get all the achievements in the 3,000 gamer score update. They added a total of 5 new achievements, each worth 100 gamer score, 4 of which are related to finding secret cereal boxes. And then we have 1 achievement for finding the easter egg in the first level. Now, unfortunately, this game does not have a level select feature. That's one thing I need to do. I need to try to talk to this dev about adding a level select because this would make the achievements so much easier. However, it doesn't have that level select feature, so you are going to need to start the game from scratch. As we have our first achievement in the update on level 1-1, and our last achievement in the update is on level 3-2. So, in this video, we're going to start off at the beginning on 1-1, and we're going to play up until level 3-2. Some of the levels will have achievements and other levels will not. I'll make sure to clarify at the beginning of the level whether we have an achievement in that level or not. So, let's go ahead and start up a new game. We actually have two achievements on the first level. One for finding the secret party for Gabriel and one for collecting our first normal cereal box. Now, about halfway through the level, you're going to see that balloon. If you jump up there, you're going to find a secret area. This is the Easter egg for Gabriel's birthday. The dev's son is born on April 21st. This is going to unlock an achievement related to finding the Easter egg. That is the party for Gabriel achievement worth 100G. You also need to make sure you picked up the key earlier in the level. If you played this game before, you know that you need to collect the key to open up the exit at the end of the level. Next thing you want to do is drop down here all the way on the right hand side. It's going to look like a dead end, but if you walk into the wall on the left, you're going to find our first cereal box. This is the first quote unquote normal box. And after you collect it, you're going to unlock an achievement worth 100G. At this point, we have both achievements in the first level, so we can go ahead and head towards the exit. Now, our next achievement isn't going to be until level 2-1. So all you need to do for 1-2 is just find the key and go to the exit. And for 1-3, it's going to be an easy boss. After you defeat the boss, you'll end up on 2-1, and I'll jump back in with some more commentary. But real quick, here on level 1-2, there is a cereal box. However, we do not have an achievement related to this cereal box yet. Now, just in case you're curious, you have to go to the statue up here and match the different symbols to open up the gate and get that cereal. You can do it if you want to, but there's no achievement related to that cereal box yet. So really, you could just avoid that cereal box and just get the key and finish the level. Next, we have the first boss. This one's nice and easy. You just need to keep jumping on the boss until he dies. Alright guys, so we're on level 2-1. We do have our next cereal box achievement on this level. About halfway through, you're going to see a springboard that's going to have a cereal box above it. But first, make sure you go into this hidden area right here and grab the key so we can open up the exit. After that, just jump over this gap and you're going to see the cereal box floating in the air. Jump on the red spring, you'll reach the cereal box, and you'll unlock your next achievement in the update worth 100 gamer score. At this point, we only have two achievements left in the update. One for collecting the second rare cereal box. That'll actually be on the next level, 2-2. And then the final one is going to be on level 3-2. Hmm. <laughs> 
right guys, so now we're on level 2-2. This level has the second rare cereal box. If you drop down a couple floors, you're going to see the cereal box in a cage. To open up the cage, what you need to do is go over to this wooden sign on the right. We're going to need to drag the red paint to the rows and then drag the blue paint to this flower right here. After you do that, the cage will open and we can go ahead and grab the cereal box. Once you grab it, you're going to unlock an achievement worth 100G for finding the second rare cereal box. After you get the cereal box, go up one floor and go over to the left all the way. Inside of that wall on the left, you're going to find the key for the exit. After you have the key and that cereal box, we can simply head towards the exit to finish this level. After this level, we're going to be fighting the second boss. That one's nice and easy. Simply just jump on top of the boss, just like last time, until you defeat them. After that, we'll be playing level 3-1. That level does not have any more achievements on it. However, the level after that, 3-2, is going to have our last achievement in this update for finding the third rare cereal box. So once we get to level 3-2, I'll jump back in with some more commentary. Alright, now we're on to level 3-1. This level does have a cereal box, however we do not have any achievements related to that cereal box, at least not in this update. So you can collect it if you want to, but you're not going to be unlocking any achievements in this update for doing so. Really you just need to focus on getting the key right up there and going to the exit. The next level though, 3-2, does have the next cereal box, which should give us our final achievement in this update. Alright guys, if you've tuned in this long, I truly appreciate it. We're on the final level for this update, which is level 3-2. About halfway through, we're going to see a red switch on the floor, which is going to open up a cage that has our next rare cereal box inside. Now, if you want to finish the level, the key is on the upper right-hand corner up here. However, you can just quit the game after you get your final achievement in this level, so the key is not necessary. Now, there's technically two ways to get this next cereal box. I'll be showing you in just a second. First thing you want to do is double jump over that gap right there. And as you can see, the cereal box is in the cage and we have that red switch on the floor. Now, personally, the way I did it is I quickly jumped from the switch to the cereal box before the gate closed and I was able to get the cereal box nice and easy. But I do think if you advance a little bit further in the level, there's another red switch that's going to drop a rock on top of that switch and that'll permanently open up the gate. So you could try it either way, but after you get this last cereal box, you're going to unlock the final achievement in the 3000 Gamer Score update. As always, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 10 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including TimG84, Kegger101, Kana25, and Rockmono44. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.